Hi guys and welcome back to Weird Top 5s. Now as it's the bank holiday weekend, today we thought we'd take a look at some of the most bizarre Easter traditions from around the world. But before we do that, as always, I want to remind you that if you like these videos and you want to see more, click subscribe down below and then you'll stay updated with the most recent uploads. Okay guys, so without any further delays, let's get started. Number five, the butter lamb. The butter lamb is a traditional butter sculpture known to grace the Easter tables of many Russian Catholic families. The lamb, which is either shaped by hand or shaped in a mould, traditionally symbolises the sacrifice of the Lamb of God. It comes in many shapes and sizes, often featuring peppercorn eyes, a red alleluia flag, and a red ribbon representing the blood of Christ. Over the years, the idea of the butter lamb spread across the ocean and the concept has since become popular in New York's Broadway market, where a famous food seller has promoted the tradition for decades. It's uncertain where the idea came from or why they chose to mould butter, but it's an act performed and enjoyed by millions of families during the Easter holiday. I think I might try that next year, although to be fair, I don't buy real butter and I don't think margarine is going to work, is it? Ah well. Number 4. Water drenching. In Poland, Easter Monday is known as Wet Easter Monday and is celebrated as Schmigus Dingus Day when boys try to drench girls, or anyone else for that matter, with buckets of water and squirt guns as much as possible. In some towns, tradition has it that if a girl receives a drenching, she will marry within the year. So, I imagine single middle-aged women make an extra effort to get outside on that day. This somewhat bizarre practice has roots in the pagan spring rite of pouring water over oneself as a means of cleansing, purification and making things right with Dinjan, the god of nature. Some say it can be traced to Jerusalem after the death of Jesus, when people pour buckets of water from roofs and open windows to disperse his disciples gathering in the streets. However, it's become something a little more like Harley these days. Number 3. The Easter Witch. It's all about fancy dress at Easter time over in Sweden, with children dressing up as Easter witches so they can visit neighbouring houses to trade paintings and drawings for sweets. It's very similar to the Halloween festivities in the US. The tradition is said to come from an old belief that witches would fly to a German mountain the Thursday before Easter to hang out with Satan. On their way back, Swedes would light fires to scare them away, a practice that is also honoured today by bonfires and fireworks across the country in the days leading up to Easter Sunday. As for what's on the menu, Swedes like to eat eggs, herring and Janssen's Temptation, which is a dish made from potato, onion, pickled sardines baked in cream. Uh, the tradition is also upheld in certain parts of Finland where little girls dress up in rags and old clothes, two big skirts and shawls and go door to door with a copper kettle looking for treats. Number 2. Tobacco trees. In Papua New Guinea society, old beliefs have blended with new Christian beliefs that have been introduced in the last century and now they form some unique traditions that are only found in that part of the world. Now in parts of Papua New Guinea, Good Friday is regarded as the most important religious event of the year. About mid-morning, a large number of people gather for a service in the main cities, and the youth from surrounding villages perform Easter-related music and plays during the event. When the service is over, people divide into small groups of family and friends for feasts in various homes. On Easter Sunday, another church service is held, and at this service there is an Easter tree. The small tree is placed at the front of the church, and if for any reason they're unable to have a real tree, and I suspect this happens a lot, several branches are tied together on which sticks of tobacco and packets of cigarettes are hung and after the service these are distributed amongst the congregation. Madness. Absolute madness. Number 1. Whipping and real crucifixions. 
Do you always get stomach cramps from eating too much chocolate at Easter? Well that's nothing compared to the pain some Catholic Filipinos feel. As penance for their sins, participants in one public event whip their backs with bamboo sticks and sharp blades as a form of worship leading up to Easter. They then parade through the streets barefoot and half naked and the act is supposed to replicate the suffering of Jesus. People believe it helps to cleanse the soul and even cure illness, although there's probably a lack of scientific evidence for that. There are also incidents, instances in which people reenact the crucifixion and actually have nails driven into their hands and feet. Indeed, the Express newspaper in the UK ran a story in 2016 that contained an interview with a man who'd taken part for 13 years in a row. Why would you do that? I mean, seriously, come on mate, sit down, chill out, have a hobnob. We all get carried away, but the key is to know when you've gone too far and stop. That's got to hurt man, 13 times. He needs to calm down. Well that's it for today guys, we hope you enjoyed that and if you did please remember to like, share and subscribe. You can also leave a comment down below and let us know which of those traditions you thought was the weirdest. Um, we hope you have a fantastic Easter, we'll be back again tomorrow with another top 5. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.